YouTube, Shaber1000 here. Today, we've got the Mighty Sight. It's an as seen on TV product. We're going to check it out. See if they're any good. This was bought at Walmart, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so bought these at Walmart. They were $19.99 as seen on TV. Okay. This is the Mighty Sight. See bigger, brighter, and clearer. As seen on TV right there. Uh, LED magnifying eyewear. Unisex. Okay. I'm getting a little crazy with that. Bright LEDs. 160 times magnif 160 percent magnification. We'll we'll see about that. Makes everything easy to see. Hands free, bright LEDs, HD lenses, rechargeable. Fits over prescription glasses. We'll find out about that too. Okay, so there's a lot going on on the back of here. You've got your on off button, you've got USB charging port, built in LED lights, there's two of them, one on each side, flexible arms, optical quality HD lenses, non-slip rubberized nose pads. You get the you get the glasses, you get a microfiber carry case and a USB charging cord. Okay, so I'm gonna put you down here and let's see. We'll get this opened up and we'll check them out here all right so <laughs> using one of my old tripods all right so let's go ahead and now I noticed <laughs> there was two boxes this one was dusty you can still see the dust on it there uh, there was two boxes that uh, that were open, <laughs> so apparently people's bringing them back. I mean, they were open; they wouldn't even reseal properly. They just stuck them back on the shelf. So let's go ahead and try to get this open. Now, when I seen the other two, see, I'm I'm trying not to uh, rip this box up too bad because. These may have to go back. We'll just see. But I like to do a lot of projects, and uh, you know, so this may help me soldering small electrical things and whatnot. Maybe working on carburetors. We'll see. But if they're junk, they will go back. Like everybody else took theirs back, apparently. Okay, so I got that off of there. Let's pull this out. Just like that. No plastic thing there. Alright. Now. Alright. So. We have. Our paperwork in here. Okay. Not much of it either. Um, thank you for choosing Mighty Sight. We hope you enjoy your product and we welcome your feedback. Please tell us what you think. As a thank you for your opinion, Jesus. Can't get this open here. We would like to offer you 20% off your next purchase. Simply go to this website. Answer our quick survey. Use the promo code at the end of the survey to get your savings. Well, it makes them think I'm going to buy another product already. Okay, we've got our USB charger here. Looks like a USB B. Yeah. So, we've got that, and here's our little baggie. Uh, I will open it up and see what. Okay, it's just a little 
I don't know what they call it, a case? <laughs> what is it? Uh, yeah, they call this a carry case. It's not really a case, but okay, you know, you, you get that. They throw the stuff in. All right, we've got some more paperwork here. Care and cleaning. Store in a cool, dry place when not in use. And it just tells you about charging. Remove cover from charging port and plug in micro USB end of charging cable. And there's pictures here. And uh, plug larger USB in of charging cable into a USB power adapter or computer not included no kidding <laughs> really um, and then plug it into the wall outlet using charge while charging charge indicator light will blink red when fully charged it will remain solid red so it don't even change color <laughs> Finding the focal length. Hold an object about 12 to 16 inches away from mighty sight. Adjust distance until objects object is in focus. Wearing over glasses. It can be worn alone or over prescription eyeglasses or contacts. When wearing over prescription glasses or sunglasses, leave space between mighty sight and your other glasses to find the best focal length for you. And that, that's pretty much it. It just this is pretty much the same thing that's on the box. For best result, comes partially charged and ready to use out of the box. Cool, we don't have to charge it. Um to charge and it tells it again it tells again how to charge it needs 30 minutes to charge and will last about three hours now that's pretty cool okay um so let's go ahead and well they're packaged pretty nice i gotta say that yeah that's pretty cool Ooh, they, they you know what they don't well i guess they do feel kind of whoa all I did was hit that button and they came on. I guess they do feel, uh, they don't feel too bad. Um, right here's the charging port right there. You just open that little piece of rubber up. There's your charging port. Okay, well, let's see. I'm gonna to have to pull these off. And these things always stick onto your fingers. Look at that. <laughs> you can't get rid of them. And there's that one. There's that one. Actually, they don't feel too bad, really. But, I mean, they are 20 bucks. Okay, so what I did was I brought a can over here. Okay, I'm going to take these glasses. These are not prescription. They're just reading glasses. Um, but like this right here, I cannot read this. I cannot read that at all. It's just a PB blaster can. Now I'm going to put these on. Now if I look up at you guys, if I look up in the screen of the camera, okay, far away, it just looks normal. In fact, it looks better than these, but let's see here. Oh, okay. The farther I go back, yeah, I can read them, but that's more than 12 inches, let me tell you. Uh, I don't know about, what it say, 160%. If I pulled away, I, I can read it okay. Let me check up against these ones again. So, I mean, yeah, breathing hazard usually. What I like about it is the light, the two lights that's that's on it. Okay, so if I hold it way back, I can somewhat we read it. It's, it's by no means 160%. There's no way. I mean, I got to hold this clear out here before I can read it. Um, 
let me try it with my glasses on. And let me tell you, they're not very comfortable. <laughs> not at all. And that just made everything 10 times worse. Wait, until I get up close. Now if I get it up close like this, I can read it, but... I can read it just fine here. Um, with my... With just these things, these cheap reading glasses. Uh, and when I put these on... Now I gotta hold it way out here. As far as the, the light goes, um, they're not that bright. No, this is no. There's no way because I gotta hold this. Look at this. I'll show you guys. I gotta hold it in order to read this can. I have to hold it clear back here to read it, and I can read it. But with these cheap things here, you know, I can read this can at a normal distance right here. Now, with these glasses here, though, far away, it's not good, you know what I mean? But these ones, it seems like far away is even better. I like the screen. I can see the screen real well on the camera okay so I can see it real well like here it's, it's blurry with these I can see it a little bit better but I can say that when I put these on yeah you know it looks good um, not 20 bucks I'm just gonna say it right off the bat it's not I would say being that it does have the lights um, ten dollars would be plenty for these. I think twenty dollars is ten dollars too much. I really do think that. I, you know, these little cases they give you, nah, whatever. You know, they, no, uh, it's definitely not twenty bucks. I may use them, and and when you get a like when you get to open these up, you know you're just like clicking it on automatically but the lights um you know they might be okay for when i'm working on something in it but something small like this like it shows on the box like working on on that stuff no you're not gonna you're not gonna do that like I said, to read something, I got to pull it way out here. You're not going to do that. That's not going to help you that close. No way. No how. Um, now, if I'm working on something that's a couple feet away from me, yeah. But, you know, like I said, this can. You know, no. And this close, this close up. Let me turn the light on here. If I want to get down in that. Let's say I wanted to, you know, you know how these screws come loose. There's no way I can I can see that screw. There is no way I can see it. And now I know for a fact with these I can see the screw because I've fixed monkeys uh, many times with these glasses. These I cannot see that screw unless I'm holding it honestly clear out here. And you guys can't even see that. See. It's almost three feet. Uh, I don't know. Do I recommend them? No, I, no, I don't recommend them. Not, not. If if they were ten bucks, I would say give them a shot. I'm not even gonna tell you to give them a shot because I don't. I don't know. Just it's just not. No, uh, like I say, it makes my camera, the screen and my camera look great, okay? Better than these ones, 
from this distance. See what I mean? And like I say, when I put these on over these, oh my God, it's horrible. I can't see nothing, nothing, no matter if I get right about there. But like I said, you know, just these on, I can read it, you know, right there. I do like the way they make my camera, you know, look, but you're not going to be doing this, this little, um, DIY repairs and more. You're not going to be doing that. There's no way in hell that these, no. Uh, good concept. I, I do, I, I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm not going to recommend them though. Not for 20 bucks. Just not going to do that. I'm not going to sit here and tell you these things are awesome and have you go spend your hard earned money. I'm not going to do that. It's just not going to happen. I think I'm going to take these back. They don't do what they say they'll do. And like when they're showing this stuff 160% and they're showing this, absolutely no way anybody can wear these. And work on that. There's, there's no way. I mean, you got to have the magnifying glass and stuff for that stuff. To me, you know, that's false advertisement. I think I dropped one of my stickers in there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> twisted my back the other day, guys. <sighs> and uh, so, no, don't, don't buy them. Don't waste your money. Good concept if they work like they were supposed to, but they don't. They don't. Um, I mean, I would have rather gave ten dollars just, just for these as a safety glasses with the lights. If they were a safety glass approved, you know, for safety glasses, for eye protection approved with them two lights, I'd give twenty bucks for it without the magnification, but. I, I didn't see anything on there where it says you can use them for safety glasses, which I don't think you can, but I mean, if they would just stick to something like that, see, they're only plus 2.5, you know, these, these are 3.0, <laughs> so right there tells you buy a pair of reading glasses for less than 20 bucks, I think these were five. And you can actually get them at Dollar Tree, Dollar Store for a buck, you know. And if they break, who cares? Uh, yeah, no, there's no way. Do not drive or operate a vehicle while wearing Mighty Sight. Do not use Mighty Sight as eye protection. So, no. Now, if they made these as eye protection with them two lights... I'd be more than ha happy to give them 20 bucks and you know I wouldn't complain a bit because uh, that that would be super but I'm gonna box these back up and they're they'll go back because it's just not they're just not what they, they claim to be so don't spend your money on it guys you won't like them <laughs> that being said Shea Bear Monkey's taking a nap so Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We've got a couple more videos coming up for you after this one. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully if it don't rain tomorrow, I'll have another good video for you up tomorrow. So uh, reminder, next week giveaway. That'll be the next video. We'll do a reminder video for everyone. So Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I think I said that twice. I may repeat myself a lot. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.